Hey, hey, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you've been here before, if not, thanks for coming at all. I do appreciate it. Anyway, I thought today it would be fun to maybe give you a tour of my diamond painting toolbox that I keep a lot of my extra stuff in when I just want to be able to grab it. I typically diamond paint on my coffee table or on a little side table by my desk. So this just helps me kind of keep a lot of the stuff that I want all together and I can grab it by the handle and take it with me quickly. So this is just a toolbox as you can see right here. I got it off of Amazon and I think it was like 20 bucks maybe. So it has three layers, which was something I really wanted was to have the three layers. And on my top layer, I keep the bulkier stuff that as it sets down would keep it from closing. And these are some uh, charms that I took, the flat back resin charms that I took and made my own cover minders with because I just thought it would be fun to give it a whirl. So I got a random assortment of flat back charms from Amazon and I did have a good time like putting these together, picking out the ones I wanted because there was a lot to choose from. Um, here is <laughs> more charms because I apparently have a problem. Flat backed, as you can see, completely flat backed. And then the magnets that I use for the charms, I just take some E6000, put a little bit on here, plop the charm on, I mean, plop the magnet onto the back of the charm and it worked out really well. This is actually a pin that I wanna work on making into a cover minder. It still has the pin portion on the back, so I need to pop that off and then put the magnet on. And I also wanna do that with my little corn guy here. I adore him and I'm going to name him Cornelius and use him frequently. Again, if you can't tell by now, I seem to have an obsession with making my own cover minders. So I thought these would be cute. They're not too big and they're really pretty. And you could just glue, they're flat enough to glue a little magnet on here. I have more magnets because I'm apparently terrified of running out of cover minders. <laughs> I have washi, a few different assortments, just whatever I wanna grab. And then shocking, I have more cover minders. Some like this are from Diamond Art Club. These two, Diamond Art Club. And uh, let's see. Oops. A lot of these are the Diamond Art Club ones. Now the little dinosaur holding the strawberry I did get from Randa's Crafty Corner or Craft Corner from Etsy. Super cute. But a couple of those I did make. I made this one. Just popped the little magnet right on the back. Made it myself. And then stickers. I just threw those up there for who knows why. Um, a random assortment of Lord only knows what pin wise. I have a purple pin. An X-Acto knife. Tweezers. Another pin. This is the pin that I like to put the straightener on the edge of to use. And then I have this little brush to get my drills out if they get hateful and don't want to move. Uh, another pin. I apparently write a lot when I diamond paint. This is my current. Oh, yep. Yeah, let me just throw that on the floor. This is my current diamond painting pin. I kind of find the tip of this to be a little bit overwhelmingly large sometimes when you want to put them down. But if you use these tips, I feel like they um, fray out and smash too easy. So that is where I'm at with that. And this is something new that I got. It's, I guess I thought this would help for ABs because they tend to pull my wax 
or my diamond dot, not diamond dot, sorry, my glue dots right out of the pen and it drives me crazy. So I thought maybe this would help. And then I'm not exactly sure what I would do with that side, but I haven't tried it yet. It's literally brand new. Second layer is just a light cord because down here, there's my E6 for my E6000 for my cover minders. Here's my little light pad that fits in here and the cord that goes to it. So on the second layer, these are literally all pins that I just don't know where else to put them. This um, purple and blue glitter one is beautiful. I love it. It was a gift from my mother-in-law for Christmas. But I find the bulky, was it bulky? I just find the bigger pins like this get tiring. Like I prefer this size pin. This is actually right up my alley. I really like this size a lot. I think it's the perfect size. <laughs> and then I have similar to that, but a little bit bigger. Again, a little bit bigger than I like to use personally. I love this green one, but I can't get the tips to stay in the ends. I know people say that you can put it in there with washi tape, but I just haven't been able to get it to stay in there real good for me. And then just a collection of random pins. I'll put those back in there. Uh, glue dots. I have a love-hate with the glue dots. I really like how long they last, but getting them in there and getting them to like stay has been a challenge for me. And sometimes I can work with them and sometimes I just get too frustrated with the whole process, so I give up. I have binder clips to kind of like help clip it to my light board. I have a bigger light board that I use sometimes and I like to clip it to it. A small pair of scissors because I always need scissors for something. This is a little washi tape cutter that I, it's cute, but I don't really need it. I bought it and then realized I didn't need it. This is a measuring tape. I'm not really measuring diamond paintings to be honest with you, but it's nice to have in there in case I need it for something else. And then again, I have some washi to choose from and then thinner rolls because sometimes these are really pretty, but when they cover the legend down the side and I can't see the numbers, I get a little bit frustrated because sometimes the symbols are hard for me to find on the, on the stickers if you take them out and kit them up. Sometimes I just struggle to find them. So these are just little waxes in their containers. Nothing crazy or special. And then in here, a random assortment of things that I need to go through apparently. Some squishies for your pins or um, thumb grips if you will. And then down here in the bottom, I'm new to release paper, so I bought a couple to try. I, I'm bad to chase colors. I don't really, once I start with a color, I just love to follow it and follow it and follow it and follow it. <laughs> I thought release papers might help me stay on track a little bit better instead of going halfway up the canvas, but we'll see. And then I like to keep all of these together. Um, I do have a the Wildwood review on my channel if you want to check it out and see the canvas and the drills completely blank before I do anything to it and I do have Luna kitted up and I'm working on it I think that as I progress I will probably do some update videos I'm hoping to I just always have so many great ideals that I'm not I'm forever trying to do more diamond paintings than I actually have time to get done. <laughs> uh, clear baggies. Sometimes I just like to put my leftover diamonds in these bigger baggies. A random sticker. And all this is just literal like baggies that I 
feel bad if I throw out another brush because my drills are constantly getting stuck in the little trays. But I found that the drills got stuck in this one too easily. So I moved on to a different one and didn't know what to do with that. These little cups do not come with this toolbox. So I don't want you to think that. These came with something else and I just stuck them down in here to hold these tip heads for me. More wax. <laughs> you can never really have too much wax, I reckon. I have a variety, purple, blue, red, you name it. It's in there, except for I don't have yellow wax, I don't think. More stickers. I do like to have these on hand to label when I kit down. Oh, look, more, <laughs> uh -oh, oh boy, more tip heads. And then I have some more bags stuck here. I've been using this uh, tacky, tack stuff. It's like poster tack. Um, I like it pretty good. Sometimes though, when it gets too warm or you use it a lot, it will get kind of stringy. So you have to be careful of that. Uh, more bags. These are the Diamond Art Club bags. I have these little guys down in here. Um, I haven't used them, but they're just a, like a slip grip. You put them down and it keeps whatever you put on it from sliding off or going somewhere on you. Oh, <laughs> these are my new, what are these called? Jewelry cutters, jewelry pliers, jewelry pliers, I think, because these are what I'm gonna use to pull the back off of the pin to make it a cover minder. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to find the pin so that I could kind of talk. Oh, the K here. So her, I want to turn her into a cover minder. So I'm going to take this off and take the cutters and pull that part in there off so that I can take some E6000 and glue a little magnet onto the back. So I will take the jewelry cutters and pop this piece off and glue a magnet on to turn her into a cover minder. And I found that these will do the trick. Light pad covers, because I cannot tell you how often I turn my light pad off when I'm working and it drives me bonkers. But I can also tell you an alternative use for these if you have a cat like I do who loves laying on your Wi-Fi router, you can put one over. <laughs> so our cat Merlin fell in love with the router and he was laying on it and had more, was laying on it in a way for which he was hitting the Wi-Fi button and constantly turning the Wi-Fi off on us. So I put one of these over it and it's been wonderful ever since. I got these little clips to kind of use for the same function as the binder clips to kind of clip your painting to your light pad if you need to. And then I have these rings because I have some of the um, silver metallic bags that you can kit down into to store your extra drills. I personally don't usually like to throw my extra drills away. If you can't tell by this guy, I'm a hoarder and I keep way too much stuff. Right, so these are just little funnels. Uh, that is a random charger for a phone. Then I have some extra Diamond Art Club trays down in here. These are the older ones. They're completely white now. I have several of those in there. Uh, these are the Diamond Art Club wax heart caddies with wax in them. And another one of that. Again, this didn't come in the toolbox. You just get the toolbox. I moved this in here. And I have some huge binder clips just to go ahead and hook my painting to something. Like sometimes I will clip it to the edge of the table to keep it from moving on me if I haven't like enough of the white space to keep from clipping my actual diamonds. So 
I'll have to put all this back. But I just wanted to do a tour of my diamond painting toolbox with you. I like these kind of videos. I like to see what other diamond painters have on hand, what their favorite storage methods are. I think it's fun. And I hope that if you enjoyed this video, you will give me a like or comment some of your favorite storage items or some of the items that you hoard. Like maybe you have 70 tool tips or a billion waxes that you feel bad to throw away. <laughs> or if you're completely obsessed with cover minders. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and watch my video and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day.